Hi, my name is Isabel Pless, and you're watching The Music Enthusiast. Hi, what's up? I'm Sarah from The Music Enthusiast, and today I'm here with Isabel Pless. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Thanks for having me. No problem. I'm super excited to be talking to you again. So how has your day been so far? It's been good. Um, I'm in Boston, so it's kind of cold. I wish it was more springy outside. Totally. Uh, so you're in Boston for school, right? Yeah, I go to Wellesley College. It's probably like mm, 30 minutes outside of like Cambridge, Boston. Okay, cool. And also, I love your dorm room. It's super, super cute. Oh, thank you. I have all my string lights set up so it looks less um, like prison me. <laughs> oh my god, I can imagine. So you recently released Call My Own and it is so good. It's so like smooth. It's so relaxing. It's so good. And the lyrics are absolutely beautiful. Thank so, you. No problem. What was the first lyric to come about for this track? Um, it was the first line that I kind of hope the billionaires will stay in space. Yeah, awesome. And is that does that usually happen? Do you usually come up with the first line first, or is it usually like anywhere? Um, it's sort of all over the place. It's usually the first line of something. Um, sometimes it's the first line of the chorus, but a lot of the time it is the first line of the first verse because oftentimes it's like a a hooky lyric. Um, and I always try and like catch people with the first line of my songs. <laughs> this song talks about like longing for like independence and even with like one of the first lines of talking about like you looking like your dad and you having the same like personality as your mother. So is that actually true? Like do you actually look like your dad and same personality? I do. The main thing is um, my dad is really he's like six, seven. He's really tall and and I'm really tall and like almost six feet so i <laughs> we just sort of copy each other's i don't know physical mannerisms and then um yeah my mom and i have a lot of similar tendencies we're both very like plan a type a you know g cow people <laughs> yeah oh my god i totally get that for like the being tall i'm almost six feet too no way yeah. it gets a bit annoying sometimes but it has its perks yeah exactly hitting your head on things but also reaching up high places <laughs> very true and like concerts like you don't have to worry yeah about so true <laughs> standing in the back <laughs> so i mean you've started songwriting from like the age of 12 around so i mean what is your fondest musical memory oh that's a good question um I mean, recently I just got to play a show at home in Vermont and that, I don't know, that was just really special because I was a very full circle, like community moment. Um, also, I'm a big Taylor Swift fan. I've been to a lot of her concerts, so I feel like those are like burned in my brain <laughs> in terms of, I don't know, fun musical memories. Yeah, and you could totally see like the Taylor Swift like inspiration like in your music <laughs> as well. I just wanted to. I'm happy about that. <laughs> no problem. But yeah, you're balancing school and music at once. I feel mm -hmm. the same. I'm balancing school, the, uh, this music thing, and then work as well. So how yeah. how do you do it basically? What is your like top yeah. tips and tricks? Um, honestly, I have to like plan out everything and it's really i don't know it's hard because i i do mostly write like when i get sparks of inspiration but sometimes i just have to sit down and and do it <laughs> to keep the muscle sort of working yeah. um and i have to stay really on top of my schoolwork because i've found that with music i can get distracted because it's so it's very all consuming so i have to really plan out my time very efficiently so i don't I don't know, fall back and end up stressed out. I feel that. Oh, I feel that a lot. Yeah, <laughs> it sucks. You, it does. Oh my <laughs> God. Are you the type of person to write lyrics on your phone app or like actual lyrics? Um, It depends. I have my journal right here where I do. Oh, that's mostly like if I am in my room and sort of have time to sit down and just like write out something, I will prefer that. Um, but a lot of the time I'll be like out and about and um, something will come up and I'll 
just sort of write it out in my phone. I don't know if I have a preference though. I think it sort of just depends on like what headspace I'm in. Yeah, totally. Um, and what is coming next from you, from you musically? Um, I have a lot more singles coming out this year. We're sort of working on the next one for probably May. Um, I'm just trying to get as much music out as possible because that's one of my favorite parts of being a musician is being able to share that with people. Um, and then I'm also doing a lot of um, live shows this year, which is super exciting. Amazing. I cannot wait to see what comes next. Thanks. And I mean, getting out music into the world, was that sort of like nerve wracking for you at first? Or are you still nervous about it now? How do you feel about that? Um, it was definitely nerve wracking at first, especially because um, I only started putting out music when people asked me to because I, I didn't think anyone would listen. So it's very exciting that, that people do. Um, it's definitely still a little bit makes me nervous because I'm not sure how a song is going to be received. But um, I feel very supported, like the people who consistently listen to me are so kind and wonderful. And so that makes me feel um, more confident about continuing to release music. Especially because your lyrics are so honest. Thanks. I, yeah, I, I try and be very straightforward <laughs> um, with what I'm feeling. No hiding that. <laughs> and my last question for you is, who are your favorite artists right now? Um, I mean, Taylor Swift is an all-time favorite. Um, along that same line, I've been listening to a lot of Gracie Abrams. Um, a lot of Vermont artists, Noah Kahn and Henry Jameson, are two of my favorite Vermont artists. Who else? Phoebe Bridgers. <laughs> Love a Phoebe moment. <laughs> All Void Genius. Lucy Vegas. Mm -hmm. Julian. Amazing. Those are such good artists, and I cannot wait for what's come next from you again. And thank you so much for chatting with me. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. Yeah.